We actually have a working gadget deck out of the OCG. We have some Numeron, Ota. There's a lot of interesting bits and pieces out here for Rogue today. Well, 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 if it isn't one of the third... Nah, guys, make sure you smash the crap out of that subscribe button. See you guys on some more awesome content. So we're starting off with a gadget list today featuring Ancient Fairy Dragon. Hey, an ancient, or an ancient normal... Get to bring out an additional gadget. This build's going to be using these gadgets as stepping stones as material for synchro summoning and things like that. It seems to be about the only real thing that they're going to be good for at this point in time, which is actually fine. I also like the fact that we're playing the mini Stardust Assault Mode package in here as well. So we have triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy Spring. We have one Assault Beast with one Cyberstein, one Effect Veil with two green gadgets, triple Maximus Output us. We have two copies of O Lion. We have one Psy Reflector, two copies of Red Gadget Man, one Talkum Tumborg, one Terror Top, triple copies of the Guitar, one copy of the Mikes, and we have two Yellow Gadgets, one Zephranu, two copies of Call by the Grip, one Croissant Designator, two copies of Emergency Teleport, one Monster Reborn, one One for One, two Pot of Prosperity, one Horn of Drones, one Engage, one Assault Mode Activate, two Infinite Permanents, and one Nine Pillars of the Yang Zing. Then we actually have one Kagari, one Platinum Gadget, with one Aurodon, one Barricade Borg Walker with one Axis Machine, two Gear Giganix, one Danglong, one Borlode Savage, one Boxy with one Baron, we have one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Excel Stardust, one Exterior, and one Anitus. And then we have two copies of Druist Herd with one Magna Hut, two copies of Space Rock, two Regulus, one Dark Ruler, one Harvey's Feather Duster, one Tasking, two a Pointer, and triple copies of Evenly Fun. Wrapping up your gadget deck. Now, like I said, there's a lot of moving pieces here for this deck. You're going to see a lot of interesting things like this actually continue to do relatively awesomely in the OCG. I think that's the reason why like, I'm in love with their format so much right now. Is there's so many cool things like this that are just showing up, and people are just like, what? Now, as we move on along here, we have uh, odotic reptiles, actually. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, this deck is 100% TCG legal, basically. Uh, no, we don't get Chaos Ruler, we don't get these, but everything else looks pretty standardized here. Now, remember, they just got Change of Heart back. DB, for some reason, doesn't like to keep these things updated here, but... You know, when was when was the last time you saw Reptiles actually function out here? I mean, Snake's Reign is the best card in their deck, um, but you still do suffer for some problems. But as a Rogue Buster deck, and I, I've said this before on this channel, that this deck's greatest weakness is itself. But if you can open up consistently, you can win. And, pff, I mean, that's important, right? As long as you can win. So we have one copy of Aeron, triple copies of Ash, Blossom, and Joy Spring. Two copies of Bice Steel Drillstorm, one Pankertops, one Caruse, triple copies of Maxi, we have triple copies of Nayuya, triple copies of Nuno, and then we have one copy of Ogdebis, uh, we have triple copies of Repillion uh, Colt, and then we have two copies of Lamia, and two copies of Naomi. And then we have two copies of Called by the Grip, one Change of Heart, one Harpies for the Duster, triple copies of Water Lily, triple copies of the Reptilian Ramifications, one copy of the Reptilian Recoil, triple copies of Snake's Rain, and one copy of Talents. And then we got one Spray Elf, uh, two Inchinda with one Abermax, one IP with uh, one Cosmic Slicer Zeral, one Imprim, uh, we have one Axis Code, two King of the Feralumps, two copies of the Maluzine, one Hydra, one Chaos Ruler, and one Baron to floor here, wrapping up, honestly, one of the more interesting builds out here, for sure. Now, we have Numeron. Now, this is hilarious. This Numeron list actually is taking advantage of tasking. Now, for those of you that haven't really paid attention to this, but if you if your opponent has a monster on the field and you, uh, you know, you're just casually rolling around on the Numeron, uh, you can search for the calling um, to bypass, or you can, you know, go search for the terraforming to activate the network and blow your opponent the heck out. Um, I haven't seen this a lot, but this does open up some pretty crazy doors here for this. And I think that this is, this really says something right now about what you can do with this deck. So, Numeron OTK actually functioning out here. Now, we actually play two copies of the Archfiend Eccentric. I mean, I believe this is just for, like, the dual side of pop ability with this. And uh, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have one Pankertops. We have triple copies of Gadarla. Uh, we have two copies of Lavagol. 
We have triple copies of Maxi with triple copies of the Numeron Wall. Two copies of Planet Pathfinder with one chicken game, one Harpy's Feather Duster, two copies of Lightning Storm, triple limit removal, one Memories of Hope, two Numeron Calling, triple Numeron Network, one Pyre's Map, one Sales Band, one Set Rotation, one Terraforming, triple Tasking with one Ultimate Slayer and one Red Reboot. And then we got one Underworld Goddess, one Ceruja, one Megaclops, one Apo with one copy of Sunya. And then you have two each of the gates, one Omega, and one Anintis here. Wrapping up your Numeron deck. No side deck for this, by the way. Uh, as we move on along here, we have an Exosister deck. Now, Exosister... I feel like this deck gets in a worse place every time we talk about it. Um, while the deck itself inherently hasn't really lost or gained too much, um, it still suffers from what we're going to call Uh-Oh Syndrome. Because uh, Oh Syndrome exists and you walk into some of these rogue matchups, um, you end up losing a lot more than you can honestly kind of capitalize. And it's, it's kind of disappointing, but that's just kind of like, like the life of being an Exosister player. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, two copies of uh, Oh Shifter, triple copies of Ellis with one Irene. We have triple copies of Martha, two copies of Sophia with triple copies of Stella. We have one Ghost Ogre. We have triple copies of Maxi. Two copies of Call by the Grave with two copies of Armament, triple copies of Pax, two copies of Pot of Prosperity with one Tasking, one Talents, triple Returnia, two Vadas, and triple copies of Infinite Permanence. Then they actually get one Donner, two Magnifica, triple Mikhiles, triple copies of uh, Caspitiel, two copies of Jabrine, uh, triple Sophiel, and one Zeus here, wrapping up your Exosister good stuff pile. All right, next up here, we have some Gishki good stuff. I, a lot more people have been kind of asking, hey, you know, can we see these Gishki sprite decks out of the OCG? You know, I want to kind of have an idea of how to adjust when it comes to the TCG here. I mean, yeah, there's not really a lot you have to adjust. It's just you have to have the sprite cards and you combine them with the level 2 Gishki package. You basically get what you need. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, triple copies of Gishki Abyss, triple copies of Gishki Grim, triple copies of Gishki Shadow, two copies of Gishki Vision, with triple copies of Maxi. We also have triple copies of Sprite to Blue, one copy of Carrot with one Sprite Jet, and then we have one copy of Red, two copies of the Neuramesis, triple Focalization, two copies of Call by the Grid, one Croissant Desmere with one Aquamere, one Ice Mere, one Instant Fusion, one Storm, one Smashers, one Starter, and triple Infinite and Permanency wrapping up your main deck. Now you're in the next check, got one Unrolled Goddess, one Sprint with two Elf, one Avermax with one Unicorn, one IP with one Gustav, one Onimaru, one Mannequin Cat, one Herald, two Gigantic Sprite, one Zeus, and one Millennium Eyes. And we got triple copies of Drawn Lockbird, one Jaugen, two Nibiru, triple Kazakh Cyclone, triple Evenly Matched, and triple copies of, you guessed it, Solemn Judgment. Wrapping up, well, Gishki Sprite. And the last one we have for you guys here is Marin Says. Now, for those of you who know, I'm a huge fan of Marin Says. I love this deck. Um, I never really got the chance to learn how to play it. But for the most part here, um, this is kind of like the state of the deck OCG side. Um, it hasn't really changed all that. Actually, it hasn't really changed much. I mean, Zell Lances was the biggest change, but we've seen the TCG version of this deck adapt to that. So we have triple copies of Pascalis with triple copies of Marin's Seahorse, two copies of Little Sleepy Maiden. We have two copies of Spring Girl with triple copies of Blue Tank. We have two Mandarin with triple Ash Blossom. We have two Maxi with two Gamma Seal. We have one Nibiru with two Marin's Dive, one Battle Ocean, triple Signet. We have two Lightning Storm with two Called by the Grave, triple Wave. Two goes in match and two copies of Rivalry of the Warlords. And then you got one Crystal Heart, Triple Sea Angel with one Coral Triangle, Triple Blue Sluggeru. We have two Coral Anemone, one Marbled Rock with one Splash Mage, one Zelanthus, one Bubble Reef, and one copy of the Aqua Argonite here, wrapping up your chunk of OCG deck profiles for you this week. Now, not a lot of stuff. Remember, we are heading on into the new set here. You're probably going to see a lot of exciting things, or you're just going to see more and more tear out here, really just kind of paving the way. And I hope that doesn't end up being the case. I know a lot of us are uh, we're like, oh my gosh, you know, tear took over for the 17th time. Yeah, it did. But with that being said, I mean, it's not to say that, you know, we won't see some sort of change or evolution here as Mana Dome and other things enter on into their metagame. So, what do you think about this week's list? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons! 
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.